Now I'm going to start creating some web pages so the person who views my CD can, well, they so as soon as they op enter the CD into their drive, they they see something with nice presentation and useful information, and also it makes it a lot easier for them that, to find their way around the CD because many people aren't familiar with navigating their way through through folders, for example, by double clicking and the back button and all that. So you want to make things as easy as, po easy as possible for people and also as nicely presented as possible for people. So I'm going to do that now. So going into the My New CD folder, let's create... OK, I've just right-clicked a new text document and the start page is menu.html Yes, I'm quite sure I want to change it. And, okay, that's the the start menu. Actually, let's just change things a little. I'm going to quickly go into autorun.inf. I'm going to change the first, the first page to start.html. Save and close. So there's menu.html, and then I want to create a new text document and call it start.html uh, Yes, I want to change it. Okay, so now I need to start editing those files. Now, I've opened Dreamweaver and I generally use Dreamweaver, Macromedia Dreamweaver to create and work with web pages. However, I've got the browser open here and obviously for creating web pages you can use whatever you feel most comfortable with whether that's Dreamweaver, front page, even working in the raw HTML code or however else you prefer to work and if we go to the browser quickly here I've gone to mozilla.com forward slash products and okay looking for other Mozilla software they seem to hide it a li little bit but if you go here and let's see if we can find if you download the if you download the full well to be more specific i browse in mozilla firefox which is a a a, a web browser by mozilla but you can also have the full mozilla suite as they call it the all in one open source internet application suite and okay let's click on Let's click on that now, and I just wanted to quickly demonstrate something to you. This has a web browser and email and all that, but you may not be most you may not be particularly interested in that. But what you may be interested in here is they have an HTML editor, a a graphical HTML ed editor, also known as a WYSIWYG editor, which stands for what you see is what you get. Basically, it's a graphical editor that makes it very easy. To create web pages and it's and it's free so if you download the Mozilla suite then you get I believe it's called going from memory Mozilla composer and if you don't have Dreamweaver at front page then this is a great free tool for creating web pages and of course you can you can also of course go to download.com and I'm sure there's a number of free HTML editors or web page editors there as well. So that's always a good place to look. However, if you are interested in Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver, I'll just quickly mention Dreamweaver is now actually owned by Adobe. So if you go to adobe.com forward slash products forward slash Dreamweaver, you can download a 30 day free trial. Okay, so I can close the browser for now. So I'm going to be doing this demonstration in Dreamweaver, but of course, whatever you use to create your web pages, it's going to be fairly similar. These web page editors are not hugely different from each other, and they all they all basically well, they all use the same concepts, of course, because they're all based on HTML. And actually, so just one further resource I'll quickly mention. If you're interested in understanding HTML better, and HTML is of course a language that makes up 
that structures web pages, then I recommend the free resources htmlref.com. They've extracted a lot of information here straight from the book of the of pretty much the same name, the complete reference HTML and XHTML, and you can get that from Amazon or I would assume most bookstores. And another good resource is htmldog.com. And this is a tutorial and also a reference for HTML. So those are resources I recommend if you want to get more up to speed with the language of web pages. And actually the last thing I'll mention, if you're not really familiar with it at all, with any web page, if you go view source, you can see the code, the HTML code, that's made up that page. And this code, translated by the web browser, becomes what you see, what turns into what you see on your screen. OK, let's close the browser again. And let's start putting together the first web page. So looking in the folder, we've got the, we're going to start with the start. HTML. So I can just drag that into Dreamweaver. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to start from scratch in Dreamweaver because it tends to work better. So, file new, uh, basic page, HTML, create. And the benefit of doing that with Dreamweaver is if you go to code view here, it creates the basic layout of an HTML page automatically, which just makes things a little bit quicker. And with Dreamweaver, there's the main views. There's code view, code view if you want to work straight in HTML. There's split view, which is the code here, and then the what that code creates here, or the design view, which is like working in Microsoft Word. It's all done visually and the code is created automatically in the background. OK, so let's start with insert table. And of course, I'm going to keep mentioning this, but this is immediately translatable into whichever editor you use. Because a, a table is an HTML feature. So whether you're using whether you're using Mozilla Composer or Front Page or working straight in HTML, a table is a table because it's a it's a standard HTML feature. So table, one row, one column, table width, table width six hundred pixels, border thickness zero, cell padding, which is the space between the edge of the table and where the text starts. Let's put it as ten pixels, cell spacing zero. OK. And the table is automatically selected. And here, down here in Properties, I want to choose Align It in the Center. OK, so let's start. And actually, another, another important change. Modify, uh, modify Page Properties. This is a nice feature of Dreamweaver. You can set the font easily for the entire page. Page font. I often choose Arial, size 14 pixels, text color black, back, background color white, and that should be fine. So let's OK that. So now I've created the very, the most basic outline of the start web page. I'm going to save it, file save. Uh, my new CD folder. Yes, we want to go there. I'm going to save it as start.html. Uh, yes. And actually, I'm going to save it again. I'm going to choose File, Save As. And overwrite menu.html. So for start.html, which is the start page on the CD, and for menu.html, which is going to be the main menu screen to help people navigate their way around the CD, I've, I've saved this basic outline of a web page as those two files. So let's close that. 
let's go to the folder and let's take those two HTML files drag them back into Dreamweaver so I've got them both open and you can see you can flick between them here so let's start with starter HTML and I'm going to start creating this this document, this first page of the CD in the next video.